food and fine dining, then you've already probably heard about Addison. It was just awarded its third Michelin star. Oh, look at the delicious food. What you may not have known, however, is the chef behind it all was born and raised right here in San Diego. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal sat down for a conversation with Chef William Bradley to get to know him and to find out how this elite award changes the culinary world's perception of America's finest city. The cuisine has to be your own, your own identity, your own style, your own signature. This is a Japanese sashimi style dish, what we call, um, it's hamachi. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a fish that's been cured in a little bit of sake and ginger. It's beautiful. So the whole point is to kind of deconstruct it and, and take it apart like it was put together like a roast. He's everything you would expect an elite chef to be. Intense, precise, disciplined. There's a lot of pressure to reach the highest level. But what surprised me is he's also funny. And we age in dog years in, sh in, in, in the chef's world, <laughs> right? We don't work eight hour shifts. We work like 13, 14 hour shifts, right. so it's like double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so that would make you how old at this point? Probably, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Physically and mentally, probably good in probably 92. <laughs> Chef William Bradley's journey to the top began right here in his hometown. Uh, I was born and raised in Chula Vista uh, in the South Bay area. He's the son of a fire chief and stay-at-home mom. The goals he initially aimed for weren't in the kitchen. I wanted to be a professional soccer player. It's um, something that I still follow extremely closely and still extremely passionate about it. I do not play. Uh, I wouldn't have time or I don't think I have the body to do that anymore. <laughs> so tell me what this is. It's a warmed kosher curry rice that's been finished with a little bit of toasted sesame. Mm -hmm. And then on top you see the yellow area there. That is a smoked sabayon, which has been smoked over cherry wood. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Chef Bradley just celebrated his 17th year at Addison on the grounds of the Fairmont Grand Del Mar. Why choose to stay in San Diego when there's probably lots of places you could have gone? Yeah, I mean, there, there's always been a lot of opportunity, but I always felt there was a big connection here for me in this restaurant. And then the, the fish is actually um, marinated in a little bit of shio koji. He says the momentum kept trending upward. In December came the moment, in his words, he'd been obsessing over for years. Addison was awarded its third Michelin star, making it the first Michelin three-star restaurant in San Diego and the only one in Southern California. What was going through your mind at that moment? I've watched the video probably a <laughs> hundred times. Oh my gosh. It's something that I, I will never forget. But when he talks about his food, so this is a Japanese cold water fish known as kimedai. It's as if he's describing art. A little bit of shaved butarga on the right. We have some locally grown fennel. This is so good. Do this you, your favorite? Would you be upset I if I favorite. picked this up and licked the no, plate? I'm, well, I'm doing the tilt. <laughs> I never went to culinary school. Yeah, I'm self-taught. Well, you did, okay, that's a part you didn't even mention. <laughs> yeah, I, I chose the more European path to where I found different chefs that I admired and worked for them. What is a piece of advice, just in general? And just be determined. Don't ever let um, where you're at, where you came from, um, distract on, on reaching the top. I mean, no one would have ever thought that a three-star Michelin chef would have came out of Chula Vista. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. If, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8. As you can imagine, it's not easy getting a reservation at Addison right now. The restaurant is booked through the summer. They offer a nine course tasting menu. The price tag for that $355 per person. For a more in-depth look at the dining experience at Addison, we've put an extended version of this story on our website, cbs8.com. Ooh, that got me hungry for dinner. I just love the passion. Mm -hmm. Like the excellence to be excellent is a beautiful thing and his passion comes out and congratulations on yeah, star number three. That is a big deal and to be self-taught too. It's just it's amazing. amazing.